Yes, you, I heard you comment about the state of the Australian labour market in particular because the job vacancy figures were released just a few days ago. Yes, well, it's, it's, it's a remarkable situation at the moment. We've got a historically very low unemployment rate uh, of 4.1% in South Australia, um, which seemed almost inconceivable you know, in the last you know, 10 or 20 years. Uh, but at the same time, there are you know, 25,000 plus uh, jobs which are still unfilled uh, in South Australia. And it goes to show that as uh, the nation's economy and as the state's economy recovers from COVID, there is still a lot of uh, demand for labour. And there's a lot of businesses wanting to take on workers and expand their operations. Uh, and we are expecting, I should be honest, um, globally, nationally, and then by extension South Australia, we are expecting more difficult economic conditions this calendar year and certainly for the next 18 months. Uh, that's been driven largely by um, global factors like the impact of uh, the war in Ukraine and, uh, and a global downturn uh, led by China and by extension the US. Um, but we are starting uh, that uh, from a very strong position, which is good news. It's um, a lot better than having a soft economy or a weak economy and then suffering uh, a big shock. Oh, no, well, thank you. I'm, I, it's always a pleasure to come on um, uh, come on the radio station, speak with you and, and, and your listeners. Um, look, this will be an interesting year, I think, if I can put it gently. Uh, we don't quite know what's going to happen with the global economy and what impact it will have for Australia and South Australia. Uh, at the same time, we're still battling inflation and increasing interest rates, um, but governments at all levels are working very hard to try and find a way that we can softly and gently transition to a new economic um, normal without people suffering too much pain. And that's really going to be the focus for the next six to 12 months uh, in Australia. Yes, well, actually, um, going back to the uh, labour market issues, I remember having a conversation with Tony Tokyo, and there was... Um, at least some temporary changes to immigration. Yes. There's, there's been some uh, uh, temporary changes to the skilled migration intake to bring in more skilled workers to try and fill some of these job vacancies. Uh, and we welcome that. Um, that's good for the businesses looking to get staff in. Um, it's also good for South Australia. We've got a relatively low population growth rate and to have more young families coming to South Australia I think is a good thing, uh, particularly if they're going to go straight into the workforce and um, and contribute to the state's economy. Cool. Okay, well, thank you very much again, and I uh, look forward to talking to you again uh, later. Thank you all the best for the year.